hey, I wanted to uh, talk about this current like decision I'm trying to make with respect to buying a business. And that is, um, I'm trying to pick a segment or an industry because as I've like hopped on LinkedIn to find business owners, I've realized that there's like hundreds of thousands of business owners in the United States. And I'm like, okay, this is just too broad. I need to figure out how to narrow my effort because like I can't focus on sending all these messages and like maybe some other people buy businesses like in bulk or something. Maybe they just have a ton of money or a whole team of people, but I'm just one guy and I don't have a lot of money. And so I need to form a relationship with the business owner. And so that way when I come across the one that, because not every business is going to be a good fit for me. Um, like because I don't have a ton of money and like that right away, I need to find a business where the business owner is willing to finance some of it themselves. Um, and I'm presuming that most business owners aren't going to want to finance like, like millions and millions of dollars. And so I need to find a business that's like, you know, maybe the revenue is making a couple of million dollars a year. And so that way, if the seller is going to finance a big chunk of it, maybe it's like max, they're financing a million dollars. Um, and then the rest of it, I'll find investors or some other way to pay for it. Anyway, my point is like, because in my mind and who I am, I have kind of like these um, like constraints. I need to find a way to kind of filter everything down into those constraints. And I think like the place to start is what industry I am going to focus on. So the industry I'm like most familiar with is energy. So those that know me, I, I'm an engineer in the oil and gas space. And, uh, and so it would make sense for my experience to like find an energy company. But, um, I don't know, like lately I've just been, and I love the energy industry. I just like lately I've wanted to maybe look at industries that are different from that, but I, I don't know what to do yet. So um, Katie, my wife and I were talking and just like, what kind of business should we buy? And um, so we're like, let's make it something fun. Like, like I believe in the energy industry, but it's not so inspiring to Katie. And so I thought, well, let's think about things that both of us get excited about because when we buy a business, there probably is a chance that both of us will work really hard on it to get it maybe to the next level. And so it was fun to kind of brainstorm that. Like we both um, care about fitness, like not that both of us are masters at it, but like we both um, want to have healthy, great bodies. And so there's a tons of businesses in that space um, and tons of products in that space that we could, you know, rally behind and believe in and become advocates for. And so we kind of think that there might be something there. We also um, lately, if you followed like our family's transition, we've, we've sold our house and everything so that we can, um, like travel the world and experience more. And so there's also um, like products that are related to like world travelers that are really cool. Uh, anyway, so I'm just saying that like we're in this process now, we're like, well, let's narrow this huge list and it starts with the industry. And so we haven't picked an industry yet, but I just wanted to like share just so that I can remember the struggle. Like someday I'm gonna, we're gonna, have picked an industry and become like super masters at it. And at that point, I, I might not remember what it feels like to be um, industry agnostic, right? Or like to not know or not care what industry you're in. So I wanted to hop on and document that. So anyway, that's where we're at. <laughs> we're picking an industry so that we can we can filter our search and then go chase it. Thanks.